This is it, folks. The final battle of Monster Hunter World Iceborne. What is up, people? It is me, Monster58, and welcome back to another episode of Monster Hunter World. In the previous part, uh, we ended up taking down the Ruiner Nergigante, and in this part, uh, unfortunate because of my complete uh, stupidity, I did not realize that that mission would go right into the final battle of the entire game. So, um, we do have the ability, obviously, you can abandon the quest and come back, and luckily for that quest in specific, uh, you are allowed to leave the quest and then, you know, obviously resume it after you've killed Ruiner Nergigante, and so that's what we're going to be doing today. But what you've noticed is I've actually got a new set of armor, and the reason being is because, guess what, this monster that we're going to be fighting today, the final boss of Monster Hunter World Iceborne, um, I felt that this was a good armor set, and this is the Kushala Deora, the beta armor set, and this is really freaking cool. I'm a fan of Egyptian mythology, and so I felt that this was a great way to end off the main part of the series with an armor set that I swore I'd never ever really make, but then decided to at the very last second, and I did over this past weekend, so... We are here today doing that just to show you my armor skills we've got defense boost ice attack the ice attack is one of the main reasons well, obviously got speed eating, speed eating we have free meal everything like that um, make sure your armor set has high defense and make sure you've got a good ice weapon we're running with the pike rep punisher today so definitely how it's going to go and so without further ado i'm going to cut right into the mission so i will meet you guys in there Alright guys, you know how I was sort of dancing around the voiceover in that Runer Nergigante was the final boss while P isn't the final boss? Welcome to the true final boss of Monster Hunter World Iceborne. I'm not going to spoil its name until later when we beat it, because it's technically a spoiler, so just like Xenojiva, we will save that for the end. But there are multiple phases to this fight, so let's begin with this big lumbering rock version. It's weak to ice, neutral to water, resists fire and dragon, and is immune to thunder. I'll essentially split this voiceover into two. Once we get to the next phase, I will 
once again the video will pause and you'll see the next part of the voiceover. In this phase, only its face is breakable and its weak points will go for that. Its size rivals that of Xenojiva, arguably it's bigger but around the same size, but despite this, this part of the fight is rather slow and contained. However, being made of giant rocks, this guy hurts when he hits you. Although the attacks are rather slow, you can flinch shot this guy and it makes a huge difference due to the falling rock traps that are in this little arena, excuse me. So be sure to flinch shot him into those. Look on the map. You can see where they are. Other than that, be careful about its attacks. They are large, cover a massive area because this guy is so big and they do a lot of damage. Be sure to tenderize and wound this thing as many places as you can, particularly in the face and the front legs. I like the hammer here personally, but again, go in with whatever you feel comfortable with. Once you've done enough damage, I'll move on to the second phase, and you'll know when this phase is. Trust me, you'll understand, and you'll see when I do it in the video. Bring all of the items you feel you need, but what item I definitely recommend that you bring is an item called a Farcaster. It allows you to go back to base instantly, like a smoke bomb. This will essentially be useful to restock, so um, think of like smoke bombs in Pokemon. Same idea, it allows you to instantly run from any Pokemon battle. This also allows you to instantly go back to base to restock, so definitely make sure you have one of these because those are very important. I hope. I think I probably mentioned this in the previous video, but those are a fantastic um, item to always have. Alrighty, everybody. Alright, everybody, welcome to the final battle of Monster Hunter World Iceborne. Here is a big Mamma Jamma that we have no idea what this thing is called. Very similar to Xenojiva. We just gotta fight it, and then we'll name it afterwards. So, let's get our buffs rolling. And, uh, yeah, let's let's get into the fight here. So, first thing I'm probably gonna do is gonna go and tenderize the feet if I can. Oh my goodness, ow, that actually hurt. The only issue with this area is there's no freaking, uh... There is no, um... What is it? There is no... Slinger. The only way I believe to get Slinger is getting it off of him. My goodness, ow. I got stunned from roars, man. That's gonna hurt. This guy's no pushover, by the way. Just gonna point this out. Ugh. Okay, that's a tremor. Three, one, two, three. Let's see if we can latch onto his. Get out of there. Yeah, he's gonna jump. Gonna go for the face here. Let's see if we can tenderize the face. It's a good thing to go for the face here. It's gonna do that. One, two, three. One, two, three. Very nice. One, two, three. Oh. Where is he moving? Now, there is a trap here, but unfortunately, I don't have Slinger to knock it into a wall. You can't actually flinch shot this thing. It's just, yeah, I can't actually knock it into the wall like I'd like to. Um, you're gonna have to, I'm just gonna end up having to damage this to a certain extent and then go for it. Because there's a point where this thing will drop Slinger. It's, I think it's gonna... This is not going well like that. Yeah, I just need to to get Oh god, get out of that sandy area. Yeah, okay. So you can still hit it here and I'm going to attempt to it. One, two, three. When it starts to really vibrate, then that's when you want to get scared. Um, and you start to see the sand like jostle like that, that's when you'll want to be scared because this thing will hit really hard uh, in those sandy pit areas. Those are, again, those are no joke. Uh oh, uh oh, yeah, gotta get out, gotta get out, gotta get out of there. Nice. Okay. This fight is not gonna be super short, this is not a short fight. Nice, we got a knockdown. Going to do this. Fresh damage. Very nice. We're giving it the work. Nice, you tripped it again. Very nice. One, two, 
three. I'm gonna go for the face here. And then we're gonna try to grapple onto the, uh... Well, it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna hit it in the face again. Might as well. Alright. Nice. So we got the one foot, got a knockdown. I'm gonna try and do it on the other foot too again so we can get another... Oh. Uh oh, uh oh, yep. Yeah, gotta watch out for that. That hurts, by the way. This guy, although he moves real slow, he hurts. Oh, come on. He grabbed onto the frickin' wing. It's gonna... Yep, slam down like that. Should be okay. I really should just... I've been trying to do the stupid thing. I'm just gonna go for the tenderize like this. It'll be way easier. Nice, Mew with the paralysis. Very clutch. One, two, three. Oh, you moved, you absolute mover. Okay, so we got some hard claw. Uh oh, watch out for this. I'm gonna Superman dive out of the way for this. Yep, that'll hurt, by the way. That that'll hurt a lot. One, two, three. One, two, three. Very nice. You tripped it. Very nice. One, two, three. One, two, three. Boom. 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 We're breaking more parts. There's Slinger. Very nice. So while we have the opportunity, what I'm going to probably do is chuck on the Temporal Mantle, and we're going to try and lead this guy over to the trap. Come on, come over here. I believe it is right back here. Yes, it's right over here. Um, actually, I'm going to use this opportunity to just sharpen and reset my buffs while he's doing that. I probably should be damaging him, but I like to take this chance to do this right now while I can. Come on, come over here. If I can hit him here. Yeah, this is gonna hurt if it doesn't. Okay, nice. One, two. Very nice. We got knocked, or not knocked out, but certainly got hurt there. Yeah, that would have hurt if I stood there, by the way. Okay. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna chuck this on. Oh, watch out for this. Yeah, watch out for this. You gonna turn to face me again when you're done with that? You gonna turn to face me? Turn to face me? Okay, so it's not Angie yet, which is good. Come here, turn to face me. Walk over to me. Wait, is Mew hurting it? Mew is actually hurting it. Christ, okay. Okay. Not ideal. Okay, I mean, that's a free knockdown. I can't really complain about that. Okay. It's not angry yet. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm just gonna stay away from it here. Come on, I, I know I'm being stubborn right now, wanting to send this thing into a wall, but it certainly is a lot of damage. Oh, might be a good time, might be a good time. Ow, okay, yeah, that, no, that wasn't a good time anymore. And, I think I got it. Yeah, I did. Let's go, dude. I got it. 2,000 damage. Big W. See, that was like 2,000 damage. I would have not been able to do that. Alright, very nice, very nice, very nice. We got a lot there. Got more free materials of some sort. Oh, God. Okay. Yeah, just being very careful here. Luckily, we have the vitality right now. Oh. Or my sharpness is just too low. Alright. We're okay. Very 
nice. Oop, yep, got me. Okay. Okay, luckily he's not. He wasn't going. Ugh! Come on. Again, breaking more off. Okay. I'm surprised that didn't. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was bad. That was bad. That was very bad. But one, two, three. He's gonna get back up again. Very nice damage. Oh my god, there goes like a gazillion of my health. Goodness. The more of its parts got broken off, which is nice. I'm gonna grab that other slinger here. Yeah, I'll bet. I mean, there was. Oh, am I screwed? I might be screwed. Oh no, barely not. I guess not. Well. Uh oh, 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 yep. Need to be careful there. I've gotten really hurt. As you can see, this phase really isn't. As you can tell, I'm already saying phase. Okay, now we are into the second phase. So we got to do this. I gotta sharpen, I gotta reapply my buffs. Alrighty folks, now that we are in phase two, it has shed all of its stone armor. We now get to see the grossness that lies underneath. This guy looks really disgusting, actually. Um, it looks cool and, and and disgusting in a good way. Like it's good disgusting in the sense that the design is cool, but it's also really gross. Those wings are very deadly in its primary source of attacking. It can use them like claws and claw swipe and drag them at you depending on where you are. So they're kind of like they're not just wings, but they're also just like claws. It's really kind of weird. You'll you'll notice what I'm talking about. In addition, it uses its wings and vibrates them to co create wind streams. It has many different variations of this, using these to attack, and they cover a rather large area because he's so damn big. It has co two incredibly deadly attacks, one of which is where it charges up like a cannon using those wings, and it shoots a stream of air in front of it. You'll see it forms essentially like a hand in front of its body, and then it'll shoot essentially like a Kamehameha wave in front of it. Vibrating the entire area and doing massive damage to anything in front of it. If you are standing in front of this, you're either going to die or you're going to be like literally like two health. The other attack that it essentially uses are its wings to shoot a massive wing, wind like spirit bomb ball into the ground, exploding and dealing damage in pretty much the entirety of this arena, except for a very, very small portion on the outskirts of it. The last major thing to note of is that it uses its wings to make wind streams and uses some of its other attacks. It will cause tremors in some of the ground and will essentially turn into like quicksand, making it harder to walk through. During the wind ball attack, all of these sand pits that it's created will explode and will more or less kill you instantly if you're caught in them. The rock steady mantle is good here. Tremor resistance is good. Free meal as an armor skill also helps so you can get the most value out of healing items. Max potions, mega nutrients, rations, energy drinks to keep your health and stamina are all fantastic to have here. Vitality mantle is also very good and even the temporal. Just, you know, not there's no specific element this guy has it's mainly dealing with just the massive damage this guy can do luckily this guy doesn't inflict any ailments as i mentioned and really besides getting stunned you won't have to worry about those here the larger area uh larger arena also has falling rock traps so try to flint shot him into those as those can make the fight much smoother and much quicker but everybody shh Alrighty, folks welcome to the the final form of the final boss of Monster Hunter World Iceborne. And again, I'm not going to name this thing. But yes, this thing is very creepy. Um, and as you can see, it uses wind to... Was it do the vibrations from its wings? And I wouldn't even necessarily call those wings. Um, this guy 
Um, ow! Yeah, it can hurt a lot, by the way. This guy is no pushover. Oh, God. Yeah, it can drag its wings. They're like... I don't even think, really, their wings more like their hands. Oh, come on. I couldn't even get the frickin'... And there's going to be a part where, like I mentioned in the voiceover, do not be afraid to uh, go back to base at some point. Oh god, one, two, three. Oh, there's the really scary attack. This can basically nearly one-shot you if you are not careful. Nah, yeah, I'm not going to go there. That's yeah, not a good idea. What I should do, there is something I definitely should do. Will this do it? Ah, I barely missed it, but it did do some damage, so I'm not complaining too bad. Now again, just like the previous part, there is no freaking, um... There is literally no slinger here unless you just damage this thing. Very similar to the first form. The one thing you might notice about this monster if you haven't, like, played this game, but you've seen memes of it, is because of the memes. Uh, this monster gets memed on in terms of its looks. Um, specifically, you'll see it when it opens its eyes, because uh, its eyes aren't fully open. That's the big meme-age. Those hurt, by the way. All those wind streams, those hurt a lot. Very nice. Now we got a knockdown. One... Two, three. Every time you get parts broken, by the way, you do get a knockdown on this thing. So we're gonna break the try and break the face to get a good amount of a. Uh... Nice, we got a knock. Uh... Knock out. Excuse me, I could not say anything. Very nice damage. That was a lot of damage. Now, one thing you'll notice about this guy is, I actually, th I believe Xenojiva is still bigger than this guy. Oh, wow, I stopped one of his attacks. That's freaking sick. I think I broke his face, too. This guy, I don't think, is as big as Xenojiva, but they're similar in size. Definitely one of the biggest monsters in the game. And, yeah, those suck you in, and those hurt. So we're going to just do this. Oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Yeah, run to the side of this thing. This thing will also, like, if you are caught in the center, it will suck you in. Like, even if you're behind it, it will suck you towards the actual Kamehameha, like, center point. And, and you can see he moves back. Yeah, I compare a lot of things to Kamehameha. Excuse me for being a Dragon Ball fan! Aw, oh, come on, I missed that. Oh, I forgot that. You can do that. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, no, no, no! Oh, Well... You know, I knew that would probably do a lot of damage. I honestly didn't think that would kill me. Yeah, we're just gonna heal. Um, yeah, we kinda got messed up there, didn't we? Sucks, like I should have told you guys. This guy's no pushover! He does have some cool gear, though. I'll tell you that much. He has some really cool gear. Nope. Nope. What I'm going to do now is I might actually apply the uh, temporal or the vitality, at least. Because I'm not trying to get annihilated. So these rocks here, I think, are mainly used to also flint shot him into uh, when you get the opportunity to. Nice. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then we're going to do this. This, 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 this. A lot of damage. Very nice. Got some good broken parts on this guy. I'm going to try and go for the tail, actually. Now this, 
he will start to make all of the you remember in his base form he was his first form he was do oh he was doing like uh making those sandy pit quick sandy areas well he's gonna make a ton of them now i'm getting caught in these is just gonna spell disaster by the way i'm just telling you that right now um Oh, there's his eyes now are open, by the way. They're terrifying if you saw them because they freaking... Yeah, look at it. Uh-oh. One, two, three. I did not mean to move. Uh-oh, 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 roll, 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 roll. Okay, I need to do one of these. Gotta watch him, too, because I don't want to get freaking wrecked, dude. Oh, yeah, when he does this, he will vibrate all of those areas, and you just need to try to run out of them if you're in them. Oh, my lord. One. One. Oh! That's mega suck. Okay. Uh, I got to do that and then just put this on i don't i do not uh oh okay so when he does this he's gonna go onto the other side of the ring and he's gonna chuck like a big spirit bomb thing you just want to stand on the farthest possible distance from him because this will insta kill you if you are not careful you can see he'll throw it and then it'll explode and then the whole area will explode so um, this is also a good opportunity to sharpen to reset your buffs in addition to that it's a good opportunity to go back to base and he'll do this too so definitely be careful, um, because there were times I was practicing this fight yesterday, and what he would do was like as soon as he uh, finished that cycle, not cycle, I guess. Um, I describe it uh, as soon as he finished the spirit bomb thing in the boober. Uh, what he would do is he would shoot that while the debris was in front of me. So there was nothing I could do to see it until it was uh, until I saw that flash of light, and I was basically dead by that point. So, oh boy, is he gonna? Okay, he's gonna do that again. Okay. Now there's another rock trap over there, but I just don't have any slinger. I mean, I could go back to base. Oh, God. Ow, that did a lot of damage. Okay, I gotta get rid of the temporal, and then I gotta heal. There will be a point where I may have to go back to base, just depending on um, how much healing stuff I use. But, okay, yeah, we gotta dodge, 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 because there is a lot of those, and those deal so much damage. Okay, let's see if we can hit him in the crotch. Oh, what the... Oh! Goodness. That's terrifying when he turns around like that, isn't it? Jesus. Still doing some good damage. Now, this fight, I think, is, in, it's in my opinion, more tedious than something like Xenojiva. Ow! There was nothing. I mean, I can when I committed to that, I was like, "There's nothing I can do." So I just, uh oh, I don't know. Yeah, I'd rather just do this and be safe. Yep, yeah, we're staying away. Yep, 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 yep. Oh yeah, he's using it like a battering ram there. Oh god, oh god. Oh, oh okay, yeah. Well, there was nothing I could do there. Um, like I told you, it sucks you like into the middle of it if you're not careful. He's gonna. I think he's gonna. Yep. Ow, okay. Uh, yeah, I was literally about to say, I'm going to go back to base, and then I instantly died. So, there goes that. Yeah, I mean, I'm not surprised that I got knocked out in this fight. Ugh, it is very annoying. Um, we are going to restock, though, that's for sure. I'm absolutely going to restock on the items here. I, I almost fainted last night on my main file, and that file is... My, my file had 1,000 defense on my armor. This has 900-something, so... Okay, that's mad already. Oh my god, come on, man.
Uh oh, he's gonna go and do the spirit bomb thing again, isn't he? Yeah, I just gotta go on the opposite side. Oh, I didn't do frickin' these. Okay, yeah, we should be fine. Okay, nice. He's gonna shoot the thing. Yep, see, that's what I'm talking about. He would do it as soon as he as he throws it. So, unfortunately, yeah. What's up, man? Hey, walk over here. I actually might be able to... Oh, my God. Yeah, I'm just gonna do that. Goodness. Ow. Oh, he got rid of the trap. Are you kidding me? Oh, seriously? Oh, come on, man. Are you kidding me? That's actually really bad now. Wow, I have to be really cautious. Goodness. Alrighty then. I hope he would jump down a little sooner. Sorry I'm not talking guys, I just wanted to focus there for a minute. There's no way I got the frickin' mantle of this thing already. That's crazy. Wow. That's actually really nuts that I got that, isn't it? Wow. And I fainted twice, by the way. And I got another one! Oh my god, are you kidding me? That is crazy. What luck, my lord. And of course I died twice, just very close to when this thing would have gotten killed anyway, so... Of course. Of course, but luckily it's just really a money thing, and I have plenty of money. We have like some three plus million zenny anyway in the bank, so I don't really really care all that much. But yeah, even though that was a little bit of a poor showing, because I got like comboed at that end because uh, of my unskillfulness. The final boss of Monster Hunter World Iceborne, everybody. I hope you enjoyed seeing this guy. This guy's kind of crazy looking, like absolutely crazy. You did it! Thank goodness you're... I... I don't know how... You did it! If it wasn't for you, 
Your partner and I would have had to give up our search. Truly, thank you. I'll record everything. This investigation, the old Everworm, all of it. Got your work cut out for you. Ah, that was truly an adventure to remember. I have nothing to regret. But now... Now what do I do? A great woman once told me... You either push forward, or go home. There's no time to second-guess yourself. <laughs> You're right. Now that we're done here... I'll have to find a new hobby. <laughs> hey! You kids okay? <laughs> Any injuries? Dude, you were awesome! Good to see you on top. Good work. Bravo! Damage. Ah, this thing's huge. My word. To think it was meddling with the Everstream. What are you guys doing here? It was the Commission's decision to leave this assignment to the Fifth Fleet. But it was my decision that we ought to go. And that's why we're here. <laughs> <laughs> you got the job done, as expected. <laughs> All right, time to head back. Just another link in the food chain. <laughs> Actually didn't take as long as I thought we did, but yeah, I, I completely screwed up the couple of parts, but... Other than that, yeah, um, this fight really wasn't that bad. I just got the one part I got overzealous and I was standing in front of it, which is one of the worst places you can stand in front of this thing. Is, is standing in front of this thing is one of the worst things you can do. And in addition to that, um, the one part that 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 was just un that was that was dumb. But yeah, uh, I can't believe we got two of this thing's mantles. Absolutely crazy, right? Like. And like I showed you, we had like 3.2 million zenny. I'm not worried about not getting as many, uh, as many monies, right? Awesome. Shows you how much of a boss Nergigante is, right, though? Like, even, like, he just, like, I know he was, the, the, the final boss is really weakened, but yeah. Pressure. I realized I wasn't ready. Maybe I'll never be. I just don't know. But sir, you were great out there. 
I agree. If I was in a dangerous spot, it'd be fine if, you know, you lost your cool and went a little nuts. It shows that you care. <laughs> right. Reconsider. Come on, sir. Our next job. Uh, about that. Unbelievable. The Legiana abnormality, Velcana, and the other elder dragons were all linked to the old Everworm. That's all we know. We saw with our own eyes what it did when it rooted itself in the Everstream. But despite our best efforts, I'm afraid we're left with more questions than answers. One thing's for sure. It took its sweet time. It crept in quietly, spread its influence, and then... And when things reach a tipping point, the abnormalities start showing up. Wait, if that's the case, won't the ecosystem eventually just destroy itself? No. That's where Nergi Gante comes in. Hmm. What? Natural purification. Nature. It has unique mechanisms to detect irregularities and balance itself. Hmm. Perhaps against such a large irregularity, that balancing mechanism was in fact. <gasps> Nergi Gante! Hmm. Looks like we still have much to learn. <laughs> Perhaps our work is just one part of our balancing mechanism. <laughs> Nature is so cool. Hey, stop talking and start eating. <laughs> Time to party! Cheers. We better get ready for our next assignment. The next one. You know what I'm talking about, sir. Nergigante. We're gonna chase that thing until our legs give out. <laughs> As always, we'll need you. Can't stop now. My work isn't done yet. For helping me discover the story behind this shard. I don't think I can thank you enough. You're really an inspiration. We all look up to you. And we'll need you now more than ever. It's a lot of weight on your shoulders. But remember, I'll be right by your side. Just like in that story, The Tale of the Five. Wherever the star shines, the moon's close by. <laughs> now that's settled. Come on, partner. Here's to more adventures. <laughs> so while the credits are rolling, um... The one thing I'd like to talk about with Iceborne is this is how you do DLC. Um, I don't know if I really touched on this, but I think this is the best way to do DLC because when this was revealed and was going to be like paid DLC, they had already released a ton of content, free content, extra content for us. Devil Joe, uh, Kulv Teroth, uh, Black Diablos. Um, I'm trying to, I, I don't know exactly, the Witcher collab, um, the, uh, Final Fantasy collab, those were all released for free, by the way, that was for free extra content, nothing else, like, that was all extra content for free, and then after they release all this extra content, they were then like, hey, we're gonna release a paid DLC, could you chuck us 40 bucks for it, 
perfect. That is the perfect way to do DLC, in my opinion, because you've already given a lot of really good, very awesome free content, and then now you're asking us to pay. There's more of an incentive to be like, yeah, I'll check you 40 bucks. Uh, you, you've given us a lot of free content. It's something that I think is worth it. And as you can see, this, this DLC is huge. And plus, as I've mentioned before, this isn't the end. We're we're ending the main adventure of Monster Hunter World Iceborne, but there is a whole net a whole nother, you know, um there's a whole nother part to Monster Hunter World Iceborne, and there is a lot we still have uncovered. Now it's not like we're I know I'm sort of taking from Paul Heyman's because I'm I've been watching so much wrestling lately. You know, it's not like we're in the fourth inning right we're very you know we're you know it's not like we're super early in the game no we're we're towards the end we are in the last quarter of the game with this uh but that doesn't mean that the last quarter is a small amount of content just to give you an idea the amount of monsters that exist in monster hunter world the base game doubled when monster hunter world iceborne was released and that includes behemoth that includes devil joe that includes uh the other uh black diablos that includes cool tear off they doubled the monster count in Iceborne with all of that included. So, just to give you an idea of how much content there is in this DLC, it's absolutely crazy. It's arguably just the second game entirely. And so, yeah, these next episodes will be us going through that post-game and, you know, really showing it off. Because there is a lot to show, a lot to fight. Um, the toughest monsters lie ahead, so get ready for that. But yeah, um, in my thoughts... In terms of my thoughts on the DLC as a whole, in terms of, like, the story and everything, it's very... It's just okay in terms of the story, right? It's, you know, it's the idea of nature and the things that balance it and, you know, how these creatures uh, affect that balance, you know, and how very easily something can throw... You know, one creature can throw an ecosystem completely out of whack. Uh, to me, it's just, you know, at the end of the day, it's just okay. I do find it more interesting than probably the average person would um, when playing this game, especially when you're talking about maybe casual people. But at the end of the day, I really do still enjoy this. And really, the major part of this game, of this DLC, comes down to the amount of content, the amount of... Um, play replayability that this has there's just so much to do with this dlc when you combine it even with the first game even all alone it is so overall this is a really amazing dlc and i think that this is a dlc if i'm not mistaken it's compared alongside of a lot of amazing other dlcs you know some of the best and most well known because of how big it was how important it was um how much it made the game bigger and even grander so yeah So now you see that the monster that we fought is now known as an elder dragon called Shara Ishvalda. So Shara Ishvalda is the name of this. And it's a really kind of crazy name if you think about it, right? It's a very just like, I don't know how to describe it. It's a very like, it feels grand, doesn't it? I, I think it's a really great name. Um, now, I don't know the origins of the name. I might decide to look that up and put something on screen about that right now. But yeah, um, I think... What we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to show off uh, some armor and weapons and stuff. Alright, so let's go and forge equipment. Let's go to armor. First off, we'll show the... Um, uh... Oh, yeah, we haven't gotten any of the Nergigante, like, tracks yet. We haven't gotten any of those yet. 
any of the Nergigante parts. So we can't quite upgrade it. So I lied, okay? I lied. We can't necessarily upgrade the uh, the great sword or the, the long sword just yet. But let's take a look at the Sharish Valda stuff. You can see it looks really freaking crazy. Like, it's very, like, just wow. Like, it's striking. <laughs> um, and again, it feels grand, doesn't it? It feels very grand. Um, you get some cool stuff out of it. Um, let me see what you get out of it. Um, so the defense boost you can ignore that. So health boost recovery, a part breaker is always nice. Coalescence is, is really solid. A uh, critical boost is also cool. You just get a little less, but you do get some. You get you just get some good stuff out of this. Um, going to the uh, weapons though, we'll take a look at the weapons. Does this thing? I actually don't know if this thing has a hammer. That's one thing I don't remember if it did. Is that that's Diora? Yeah, it does. Look at that. That's a yes. It does have a hammer. It's cool, isn't it? It's really cool. Very, very neat. I really like that. Uh, the great sword is also something to note of. Go to the great sword because the great sword. I know for a fact that this thing has a great sword. So, where is it? Much Irish Valda. There it is. Oops. Uh, where's it? Hey, hey! Go back down. I always, I always misclick that. Yeah, it's really cool. And for a while, this was, I believe, the best in slot. This this uh, this greatsword was one of the best, if not the best in slot. Um, does this... I actually haven't checked the other trees. I don't know if this thing has other... Oh, this does have a charge blade. Wow, that looks so cool, actually. Wow, that's awesome, dude. That looks cool. Actually, what? Th th I believe they're all dragon, right? Um, let's take a look at the... Uh... Dual blades? Yeah, you do have dual blades. Oh, I haven't even... I've never really looked at these, actually. That's freaking cool. Yeah, like crescents. That's awesome, almost. Let's see what other ones you got for those of you who play with other weapons. Uh, let's take a look at a gun lance, maybe. Do you have a gun lance, Mrs. Mr. Mrs. Sharish Valda? Don't think it even has a gender. Wow, the shield. Look at the shield on that. That's awesome. It looks like a clock. It looks like clockwork. That's freaking cool, dude. Look at that. That's sick. Um, switch axe, I assume. You, you gotta have a switch axe, right? The final boss of the freaking game. You better have a switch axe. Yeah, that's really cool. I really like that as well. So yeah, Sharish Valda uh, has got some really cool gear and everything along those lines. Now, there's one thing I'd like to test. So real quick, I'm gonna save... And then I'm actually going to talk to the uh, field team leader because I want to make sure something before we end off the episode. Alrighty, folks. So I did reconfirm what uh, what our next mission is. I just want I ended up watching like like skim through some YouTube videos just to absolutely make sure that that was the next thing. So after taking down the final boss of Monster Hunter World Iceborne. Next time on Monster Hunter World, we will be talking to the field team leader to see what we need to find. And I believe it's just going after Nergigante. So we'll see where Nergigante ends up, and we will go from there. And so I think that is really it for this episode. So I thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video. Please like, comment, rate, and subscribe, and share this video with your friends. Also follow me in the socials. Those will be linked in the description below. And with that, guys, and once again, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this episode. And I'll catch you on the next one. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Peace. High ambitions and the right mind can take you so far It's like you lived a few lifetimes Take off from a break off from the weak minds They can stay soft, you can change lives, you create